Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is lovely to have you here. Uh, we're back working with the Cozy Cottage um, Fall or Autumn Junk Journal and I am getting the pages ready to sew in. So if you remember I had I don't know, 10 or 11 of these which were the um, portrait pages which I'm going to fold over um, and I've printed them, uh, no border, borderless, yeah, to the edge of the page. Whereas these I have printed, and these are the journal pages, um, I printed back to back. And, you know, if you know me, you'll know that my printer will not print back to back and borderless at the same time. It refuses point blank to do it. So um, what I need to do is cut off. I've cut the edges off, as you can probably see. Um, now I need to just fold them in half and cut the top and the bottom off um, to get those folded and ready. So this, these will be smaller than these um, and I'm happy for that to be the case and I'll explain to you why um, when I've got them all, all folded and done. So I'll just show you what I'm doing to these. The others will just be folding and then I will, um, I'll stop the camera and do them all because you don't want to sit and watch me fold, I'm sure, 20, 20 odd pages and, you know, just just trim 10 of them. That will be be all right for a couple of minutes and then it'll be very boring. Yep, so that's all I'm doing. So I cut both sides off them so that I know both sides are borderless. And then I'm folding them over. It is quite thick paper. You could probably see there in the crease, could you? Um, and then just cutting the top and the bottom off, which should make it square. Didn't quite get, I need to check look, that I've got it all off. I didn't quite get all that off there. Let's do it off that side because I've made that one square now. So I'd rather them be a little bit smaller but not have that, um, that border showing. It is a bit of a pain really but um, I'm not covering them with anything so and I'm not inking them so I need it all off check them before I do them so I'll just do this one with you and then I will turn the camera off <laughs> I don't realize I've not been on long but um, I'll fold a couple of the others as well just to show you I know there are some newbies out there I'll show you what I'm up to and then I'll I'll come back so those will all be folded like that and I say they're all I don't know if I did say they're all staying together or not but these I don't think, unless my, sometimes my printer does go off the edge a little bit, you know, and, and it will leave a, a cream piece. If I find one, I will ink ink that in. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit croaky today. Um, so all I'm going to do is go along and fold all these. Now, they've all got pretty much the same backing, so what I'm going to do is fold some this way and some the other. So this is on the outside. I don't really mind... If I get, you know, the same page next to the same page, in fact, it's going to happen because I've backed them, you know, all in this this type of thing. So, yeah, I don't mind that. And there are a couple of pages, I think, but it's very tiny. Can you see that? Very tiny cream edge there. The paper's obviously not quite square in the printer. That's the only other problem. But that solved that. I don't want to trim these, I want these all to be the, the same size as well. So I should just go through, if you didn't see the um, the patterns on these, I did a quick quick flip through of it last video and I know Tanya, Tata Treasure, it's her kit. I know she's got a flip through of it on her YouTube channel as well. So yeah, if you didn't see the papers and you're like, no, keep filming because I want to see the papers. <laughs> Pop back, pop back and see them there. You'll see them as I'm working on them. So I'll just finish them. There's not that many to do now. I'll just finish them and then I'll be back. Okay, that's got them all cut and folded. So um, I think I said to you, it's going to be a a journaler's journal. So it's, it's going to be a journal for writing more than, it will have some other bits and pieces in it, but more than, you know, the flips, tucks, um, that kind of thing. So I am going to, my idea is these are all going in the middle. And then these are going on the outside and I'm going to have a piece of um, sari or something tying the middle piece closed, if you like, amongst all these. I think I've done it before on a, on a journal. Um, 
well I know I have I mean I think I've shown you it before on a journal uh, not too long ago so I need to decide really well definitely the right way up for them and what I want in the middle okay sorry I don't know if you knew that I'd gone then but I did <laughs> Neil stopped me for a moment or two so um yeah I'm deciding which is the right way up and what I want in the middle don't think I want lined in the middle have I already got that one yeah something I did do twice because my printer ran out of Oh, you've got different inside. No, you're exactly the same. Okay. <laughs> right, two, three, right. That's okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's right. Because I think there's ten pages. Or oh, shall we? Shall we have the food in the middle? Yeah. Let's have the food in the middle then. And then the three lined ones, lined and lined. Yeah, gonna have that the other way like that. Yep. The right way up, you are. And then, yeah, I love the candles on the outside. I love the candles. I love candles on Christmas cards. Right, um, it's quite thick paper, so it has got quite a different there um, difference in the. Excuse me, I'm just grabbing something in the size which I don't want I don't mind it so much on these ones um but these this I want it to kind of look like it's all one small like journal within a journal if you like so I'm going to trim the edge this edge the rest of it I'm not too worried about so just get me ruler out and my knife this is the newish one And then I'll just line it up with the shortest one, I think. So I'm not making them too small. And just go down them. There's not, there's only 10 pages on them. Now it looks like I've cut a bit of the pattern off the edge, but never mind. What's the holding the job up there? Something. So it can feel very, very straight there. Right, and I think what I will do is just, I'm not going to do each page, but I'll just go down it as a whole, like that. So it's not white. Yeah, the top and the bottom may not be quite level. I'm not worried about that. I don't want to make it really small, so I'm not taking any more off. And I'll decide about this one when I've put it together. You know, the outside pages. Let's move it out your way. Um, but that will be the centrepiece with um, a ribbon round it to tie it closed. Yeah, that's lovely. So it's different paper. It feels different paper as well. So it is going to feel like a completely, you know, hidden journal in the middle, which was my um, my idea, I was going to say. <laughs> my plan, that's what, that's what I meant. So this one I did back on the back, looking at back the same stuff. I absolutely love that fur. So, do I mind? I don't think I mind what I have where with these, to be honest. So let's let's just put them together and, and see what happens. I suppose some things I won't like next to each other. Saying that, I can be a fussy, can't I? Love that paper one. So you can see where there's a lot of. Um, you know, pages the same. Oh, that way. Excuse me, a cup of tea making itself known. Oh, it's a piece of. I thought I'd got them all. A piece of cream showing. Look. Yeah, I'd be interested to know your thoughts on this journal, seeing as I'm. It's quite different in as much as I'm not putting any uh, any of my own papers in, which I do in nearly all my journals now, or have done recently. Um, this is just going to be the, the kit and nothing but the kit. Love that one, wallpaper and wallpaper. I don't think 
there is a right way up for those logs, do you? Lovely picture. And um, we'll have two of those together. So you're not really paying much attention to what's going where. It's just all, it's just all going in. So do I want to? No, I think I'm going to leave that. I do like the the natural edge of it, and it is, you know, it's kind of a uniform front and back. It's going to be a thick journal. Oh, we've got, we've got one left here. How did we manage that? You can see how that one's smaller and just fits inside nicely. That might not be the case if I trim that one as well. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. So, you know, there is all the fussy cuts. I haven't done the other bits yet because I'm filming on the same day. Um, you know, to dress up some of these pages. Some of them I will. I think I might put a little um, vellum bag, vellum uh, envelope, that's what I was trying to say, or a glassine bag or something, whichever I've got anyway, might put it actually in the journal with some of these pieces in, um, you know, so it can be self-decorated because, you know, I want it to be a journalist's journal, this one. Um, and like I say, I'm going to do another one, so I'll probably do one for me. And then, you know, really decorate it. Go to town decorating it, which I know a lot of you guys like to see. Um, right, I need I need to go find some ribbon to put around that middle before I sew it into here. So, again, you won't know I've gone, but I'll be gone a few minutes. Okay, I decided instead of just pulling something out to bring the box over. Ribbons and string and mesh um, to show you. Because I know you like to have a look. Come see it going to clear you just. I know you like to have a look in my over full boxes of things now all sorts of things that i've collected along the way but also there's a lot in here that my friend tanya has um shared with me too so uh, yeah i have got a lot of stuff um that's going to be nice in the autumn journals isn't it i've got my autumn box here oops with previous years or things that I've thought are autumn and I've just dumped in. So I might put these lovely, these are from uh, T Tanya. I think they might be from Taperology. I might be wrong, but um, yeah, they're fabulous. Oh, that's, yeah, and I had this in my mind. I thought this might be in here. So this is some brown ribbon that I got from, oh, I don't know, perhaps from the antique centre in one of those fabric packs. I don't know how it will lay, but I think that might be nice. I did have that one kind of in the back of my mind. Um, do I want purple? I don't know. Oh, that's a nice thin one. Just get a few out. I just thought you might like to have a little look. What have I got in here? All, all sorts of string and loose bits. Oh, what I haven't got isn't worth talking about. Um... Somewhere bits, polka dot. Pinks, lilacs, blues, threads. Hmm. Not this one, but maybe the next one I think I might do a um a tassel. Okay, I've got out what I wanted, I think. I got two out, didn't I? Let me just put this on the floor because it's heavy. Oh, that's it. I'll put that one down as well. Oh, I didn't put everything back in it either. Look, I have to organise it because I know the lid didn't shut, but it really doesn't shut now. So I've got some thinner here. Let's get both, both going, and then I can decide which one I like. So this one is vintage, it's kind of um, distressed in places, but still, I don't mind that one. This one, I mean, they're both vintage, but I don't think this one's been used on anything. It's a lot silkier, so make a nice big fat bow at the side, wouldn't it? So I'm going to try the fat one first, I think. So all I will do, I don't, I don't know, I might want it all is um, I'll just glue it a little bit on here, if this is one that I'm using. So maybe just, you know, an inch or so there and there. So it, it, it 
comes back to there so that is a usable page and um, I just want to tighten a bow and see see what it looks like in the centre of of my book and then of course as this gets used if whoever owns it sticks things in it or puts bits of papers and things in it, it you know it can get fatter I will leave, I won't leave quite all that lot but I will leave yeah quite like that brown actually in there and that bow that bow is going to be nice sticking out there isn't it yeah I think it is because this will this will fatten up and go back a little bit as uh, as it gets stitched in and with that so I will have that bow there so maybe this one will be tied around this so they kind of match we'll see anyway I have pressed play again haven't I <laughs> yes oh dear um yeah I'm going with that one then so all I need to do because I can trim it up later all I need to do is well glue it but I want to sew this in so um hmm want to sew a signature in that's what I want to do I think I'll have to glue it and leave it a moment or you know leave it half an hour oops and come back now the only other thing with this satin is the glue is going to show through it so it might be that I have to put something on the top so I'm using fabric out which will you know grab it and I'll try and Kind of lay it flat rather than big fat lumps of it because that definitely will go through. It still might. It does. I'll have to put a cluster or something like that on it to hide it because it needs to be. I suppose I could have stitched it in, but I've glued it now, so that's that. I need it to be straight ish though. sun's coming out again it's been a, a very strange day it's very cold this morning in fact well I had a woolly jumper on you probably saw in yesterday's video and it, it was raining had my raincoat on suddenly the sun's coming out again it's changeable weather I guess it's that's the season isn't it so that is a little bit above half but I wanted that candle showing so it actually hasn't hasn't come through as as of yet. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, so maybe I don't have to stop the video. Maybe I can get everything ready, and by the time I'm ready to sew it in, I'll be able to work with it. Let's see. Let's grab the um, the kit. I would like to do this. Well, I was going to say in one take, but it won't be now because. Neil came up and stopped me and I stopped to fold the paper so are we going with that what colour yeah I think with the all the other brown bits on it that would be nice wouldn't it so let's go with brown that's not my preferred needle is it no just have a look oh might still be in here though yeah this won't be getting tidied out until after my holidays you now I have got this as well. I'll be I'll be putting some of this on the um, the ephemera pieces that I do put in. So that is metallic gilding polish, and it is gold treasure. I think that's the colour. So that will be fun. Um, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. I'll give myself plenty to play with. It will have some lace or something um, down the outside on the spine. I'm not putting a, a fabric ruffle or anything like that on it. <laughs> okay, and a little. I've got one, one of those on the end. You know the drill now, unless you're new to me. 
and the all. So I need to get this and this lined up and clipped because it's so thick it will very easily move when I um, sew it in. So it's moving already. And I'll have the, the tails of that to deal with as well while I'm while I'm sewing in. So just try and keep it central if I can. That seems okay. Oh, where's all my clips gone? Got big ones, let's use big ones. I like to just clip it one side for those of you that are new to me. Just don't know, it's just my preferred method, I guess. Right, which is the front of here, seeing as I haven't got a front on it yet. I need to make sure. Is he a dormouse? I don't know, it might be a different creature. No, I don't think it is a mouse. It could be a squirrel, but I can't see a tail. Any ideas? I know there are other animals that look like mice and squirrels, but I don't know what they're called. Now, they are quite thick clips there, so. Yeah, did anybody spot my mistake? I should have been clipping it to the cover. <laughs> Noodle. Sometimes I do just clip the centre like that when I'm just going for it, but I want this one to be neat-ish. Well, we'll start aiming for that and see what we get. <laughs> That's better. And I, I know I'm keeping it closed, but I, I feel I can push it into the, the spine better when it's closed. So I get it, hopefully. Right, you kind of morphed upwards a bit. This is what happens. Try again. Right, can you stay put this time? Don't be moving under your own. What's the word? It ends with a V. And it ends in shun. <laughs> Answers on a postcard. Okay, I think that's where I want it. Right, let's go for it then. So I am just, I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing centre. I'm not putting anything in the centre either, you know, um, an envelope or at that one, a bit at an angle, I think, you know, or anything like that, like I often do. So, yeah, it's quite a quite a different journal to my norm. Um, I was thinking I might stick something over the top of the the strings on the centre, if I, you know, if I felt I didn't like seeing them. Because often I hide them with an envelope or something like that. Oh, oh yeah, I suppose there is a lot of pages there. I, I should be expecting it to be tough. I still didn't count how many, did I? I think there's 20, but... Right, I nearly went in the wrong hole then. <laughs> Not that it would have mattered. Now, I appreciate you can't see an awful lot because I'm keeping the book mostly closed. Mind your fingers, Denise. Oh, gosh. But, oh, yeah, I nearly got them Look. I just feel I get a much neater um, binding, that's the word, if I keep it closed, you know, when I first, first stitch it. Okay, so far so good. Now the tricky bit. We're through, can't see for that. Oh, we're through. Not stopping you. Maybe I've gone through the, uh... yeah, I think I have. Let's take this off and then I can sort that out if I have. Oh, maybe I haven't. Maybe you were just feeling like that. No, I haven't. Don't know. Don't know what was stopping it, but I thought I'd gone under there then. Okay, so, oh, I had. <laughs> 
one either side of the leg or one leg either side of the center string pull it tight but don't cut your papers fairly tight but you can only get it so tight otherwise you do end up pulling holes big holes where you've bound it am i the right way up i am we're looking good oh i've missed missed the pot but it landed on the shelf so retrievable okay let's see what we've got then so those will be cut short i think because um, i won't do it now I'll cut them shorter because i you know i want it to be like a, a journal in the middle i think i will cut them you know very short i suppose i could put some butterflies on them and have them in there we'll see so let's fasten this and then we can have a look at it how it it will be so that is just holding that middle journal closed and you could put one of these around the i'm not very good at bows look <laughs> Oh, that's better. That's it. Around the whole journal, couldn't you? And have the whole thing fastened down. Let's look at it with that. Yeah, I don't need an awful lot of it, that bow, actually. I won't do that while the very end. Okay, so let's look at the pages. Let's look what we've got. This is my favourite bit. When I've put a journal together. Interesting how those have gone together, those two pages when they meet each other oh you're right up there because of that box i'm so sorry <laughs> you probably didn't get to see anything so let me know what you think and the papers are gorgeous are they are they you do you agree with me is it making you want to get cozy on your sofa with a hot chocolate so i'll come back to that one in a minute so you know that can just stay closed while you're working on these. Yeah, I love that one as well together, look. Off that page. This is like um, upholstery, isn't it? I don't know if it's supposed to be curtains or something, but it reminds me of like sofas and things that we used to have when I was very little. That's the sort of upholstery we would have. Love that fur. It's like a sheepskin rug. Yeah, I'm stroking it. Stop it. <laughs> I'm a paper stroker. I love that page as well. I mean, I love them all. <laughs> love them all. So this is going to have some nice things in here, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And then, of course, you might just want this bit open for your secret journaling or... Yeah, I don't know if I need to put a stitch in there or... I think it'd be all right. No, it's better with nothing on it because it's nice and plain here. So it's different paper, so it gives it a slightly different look as well. It gives it a different feel. It's thicker. I don't know, I might put some strengthening on those. Uh, what are they called? Binding holes. Yeah, I love the way the lines are on the outside bit as well. You look like you've gone loose. Have you come loose? Nope. Just my eyes, obviously. Yeah, like it. Like it very much. So I'm not going to do anything with it today. I'm going to let this this dry. Where I've stuck the ribbon in and um, yeah, just let everything rest. I've got lots to, to go off and, and get done. And then next time we work on it, then we'll put some of the fussy cuts and bits in it. These were the other bits, I think, where when I said I'd, I'd made them smaller, but I've cut the bigger ones out. So these are the original sizes. Bike's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, I left those connected together. I wondered if they would make nice notebooks. Lovely. Another little kitchen there, loving the kitchens. Yeah, there's the other notebooky one. So that's like a garden and a, a pond. That's the cosy cottage. 
beautiful pairs. These will make nice journal cards. Um, yeah, I like the shape of them, actually. They make nice journal cards to go in those back pockets, those. I think these look like they're inked here, so I think these would be nice notebook covers. That one and that one. That's one of the ones that came with the, the pictures. Just in case you didn't see it, this is the the front. So this one will have tags and journaling in, you know, tags and, and things. So I don't know if this is going on here, but I'll just, let's just wrap it around and see. I do like the brown and the brown together. Oh, it's, it's a nice size. Do you know what I think might be nice in here as well? That letter, you know, the letter page that looks like it needs folding. That might be nice printed off and, and tucked in here as a letter. And you could tuck things in the bag. I've not done it really tight. Yeah, I'm loving it. Okay, let me know what you think. I'd be interested to know. And um, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you with this tomorrow. I don't know whether I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know if I'll see you with this tomorrow or something else. Um, I might want to leave this till I come back on holidays. Now I'll see. Okay, have a lovely evening. Oh dear, don't don't hide up that today. Have a lovely evening, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.